Hey guys, I got a little project for myself today. I'm going to make a pistol rest so I can check out the inherent uh, accuracy while eliminating the human element of, you know, jumping around when you're shooting the thing. So using the micrometer, making a little tracing, I'm going to cut out a profile that I can strap the gun down to on a large piece of scrap and uh, I'm just going to fire 10 rounds and see uh, what kind of a pattern I get with the gun strapped down to a little bench rest. Okay, after tracing the outline, cutting it out just to get something that will support the critical parts of the gun. Okay, use some bungee, okay, which I cut into small pieces. And I sprayed it with the uh, 3M 7.7 adhesive, which is pretty strong. It's very cold today. It's 32 degrees, so this shit's taking forever to... to uh, dry up. But uh, then I'll stick those pieces so that I'm protecting the gun so it doesn't get chafed, you know, against this shelving material. And then I'll uh, just put some holes in this and drill that to that and then I'll brace it up and I'm going to add a little bit more bracing. And then I'm going to use another bungee cord to strap the gun down into place. And that'll let me, uh, you know, just use these little pieces. You can cut them up with scissors and that will get me something where uh, this won't move. And as you can see, I'll be able to shoot right out the door by having this clamp to my bench. So I'll set up a target outside and try and put 10 rounds through the same hole, if possible. Okay, because it's so cold, I'm using a little electrical tape to hold those things in part place. No big deal. And as you can see, I just got it on the board, marked where I want to drill my holes. Now I'll just drill some holes on the center line, and then I'll sock it together with some self-tech. Okay, here, so here's the bench rest. Took a couple pieces of neoprene, glued them to the scraps of plywood, and clamped it so the gun is secure. As you can see, it doesn't want to move very much. Used a bungee to strap it down. Still clearance for the receiver to uh, slide to come back and eject. Okay, I can still get in there and operate the trigger. And uh, all I got to do is rack the slide. And if you look down the sight picture, I guess it's probably too bright outside to see that, but there you go. This is the deal. Okay, all I did was drive a stake in the ground here and screw this scrap to it, stick a target on it. Okay, so we're going to give it a shot, see if I'm lined up enough where I'll actually hit this. I have no idea. As you can see, I've got it clamped to the bench, so everything's pretty secure here. Nothing's going to move. The bench isn't really going to wiggle very much. So that should be a good a uh, way to test uh, inherent accuracy of the firearm. And uh, Okay guys, like I said, I'm not sure if this is even going to hit the target because I just kind of eyeballed it. But here, let me rack the slide back. Okay, and let's crack off some rounds. Oh, this far. Let's go out there and take a look and see if I hit anything. Jesus, my eye is pretty damn good. That's amazing. Okay. So here's a gun in a bench rest. Oh, Jesus. Fucking zoom. There we go. There's the, the gun in a bench rest. Uh, I was hoping for much, much better than that. That's about what I get when I shoot by hand. I was wondering if it was me or the gun. I'm going to try some different ammo and see how that works. I did a couple tests. I'm having trouble keeping the gun from jumping around. The thing has more recoil than I thought. So I've changed the strap down technique a little bit. And I'm going to hold it in place by pressing my hand down on the top strap. And uh, there's, the, there's the target. Okay. So let's try this whole uh, experiment one more time. Okay. Misfeed immediately. So pressure down on the strap makes it misfeed. That's interesting. Uh huh. Does not like a lot of downward pressure on the strap.
Yeah. Got a misfire. Look, we're having some trouble feeding this thing when it's all strapped down. It doesn't like a lot of pressure. Okay. Well, let's go look at the results, guys. Oh, yeah. Now, that's what I was looking for. Holes and holes. Sorry about all the swearing. I'm excited. Been working around sailors too long, huh? Look at that, guys. Ten rounds. I can just about cover all ten rounds with my thumb. One flyer. I think that was because it was misfeeding because I was pressing too hard on the strap. I bet I could uh, do this one more time and get them all to go in one hole if I could just get that baby strap down. Just Okay, things I learned from trying to bench test my pistol. Uh, I had no idea, but apparently strapping the pistol down does affect how it feeds the ammo. Uh, apparently recoil uh, affects how it cycles the ammo. And it's not as easy to keep a pistol from jumping around as I thought. So I can see why they have to build uh, fixtures with springs out of metal and stuff that return to zero. Pretty complicated, so making a cheap little wood fixture to test the accuracy of my pistol was an interesting experiment, but I would say overall it wasn't quite as successful as I was hoping. But uh, I do think that I did... Uh, get some results, and I hope they were uh, interesting to you guys.